Hello. So, I went to the car boot sale this morning and while I was there having a look around I found two telephones which we have here. Now I'm putting this video up basically because I'm looking for information about these because we can't quite identify what they are. Now if you've seen any of my other videos about identifying old British telephones and things you'll probably say oh they look like uh, GPO 706 phones from the 1960s. But, well yeah they do and they probably originally were but interestingly these have been modified and we know of other sets of these that are out there. We, we think we've found two other sets that are out there that have sold on eBay and things like that in recent months but I've never seen them before and other telephone experts and collectors and that that I've spoken to they've not seen them before either so I thought we'd just have a little look at them and if anybody knows anything about these can you let us know in the comments or something please you know, get in touch with us and let us know a little bit about them. What makes them unusual is that underneath the handset there's a little thing that opens to put a battery in. You know that that clips open. I'll do it on the other one because the other one's actually missing its top. So you can see if you can see down there, and I don't know if you can see in there or not, but if you can see down there, that takes a battery of some description. There's also a little thing on the back here, which is like a little socket for some kind of plug to go into, and that is also wired to the terminals that the battery would touch on inside the phone, so I'm guessing that is for some kind of external power supply if you're not using the battery or maybe it's to charge the battery or something I don't know but again I, I'd be interested to hear from you um, if you could uh, if you could tell us what it's all about they have a dial which seems to work but do they really need it I know it says they're an intercom, so if they are an intercom, how do they work? And it gets more interesting when you take the top off one of these phones. Because when you take the top off, there, like that, it's not wired in the normal way at all. Take a look at the wiring in the back of these phones and you'll see it's a right jumble. There's your line cord and the cord to your handset which there normally is but there's lots of extra connections and again if you look at my video on how to wire these phones and how to wire a normal 706 so it works with the modern telephone system you'll see that this is completely different there's some of these links here that are missing on this that are not there there's lots of extra wires and if you look carefully in here you'll see in these black tubes here seem to be extra resistors little resistors that are doing things that are linking some of these together now I think these started out life as ordinary 706 phones and have been converted and there's various reasons that I think that if you look under there you see those things marked D1, D3, D5 
Well, you can see little bits of cut off wire where they originally went through and were connected to the printed circuit board underneath this brown board. This is actually a printed circuit board with the tracks on the bottom that you can't see them. So there would normally be those wires would normally go through little holes and be soldered on the other side. And you can see they've been cut and left there. You can also see that one of the legs here if I can get my finger in there, this leg of this switch has been cut through and a section taken out of it to stop that making contact. So there's obviously been a lot of work done. One of the strangest and most interesting things is it's got bell gongs but it's got nothing in there to work them. It's got no clapper and no, no mechanism, no coils and no solenoid to make it go backwards and forwards. But what it has got that's unusual is this little box here. Now what is this little box? Is this a buzzer that replaces the bells? Because the bells normally in one of these telephones run off AC. So if these have been converted to an intercom that runs off a battery, a battery being DC wouldn't work the normal bells. But it would work a DC buzzer. So is that a DC buzzer? I don't know. I've not investigated yet. I thought I'd ask to see if there were anybody out there who knew more about it before I started sort of looking deeper into it myself. So what are they? What are these strange telephones that I got from a car boot sale in Chesterfield this morning? What could they possibly be? It's interesting because there doesn't seem to be much sign of wear and tear on them. Normally the cases are scuffed at the very least or, and usually they're discoloured the cases too but these ones aren't discoloured at all this one's a bit dirty but the other one is absolutely perfectly clean this one it's like brand new but there's another interesting thing about them because inside the case where you would normally find a circuit diagram on a British telephone. There's no circuit diagram, but there is this little label that says, the mouldings in this telephone have been produced from PVC and form part of a material trial. If any defect is noted with these mouldings, please return to P and S 4.3, London materials section, Stud Street, London, N1, 0, QL, with a brief description of the difficulties. So they're obviously trying a new material for cases. But why, at such a late point in history, and these phones date from 1982, were they trying new cases? And we know they're from 1982, because we look underneath and people that know anything about telephones have probably been screaming for about the last five minutes at the screen. Turn them over, let's see what it says underneath them. Well, here's the bottom and as you can see all there is is a red sticker underneath and on the red sticker it says Tele 706 IC refurbished BT QC CCF Batch sampled FWR82. Now, FWR is the Welsh factory um, that refurbished phones, and 82 is the year. So, we know what that is. Tele 706 is the type of telephone that these would have originally been, but they're still called 706s according to this sticker, but they've been modified into some kind of intercom system. So, what can you tell us? As I've said, if you can tell us any more about these phones, 
I'd love to hear from you. So leave us a comment or get in touch with us. Or if you've got any of these yourself, I'd like to see a video even if you've got a version of these. Because a pair were sold on eBay a little while ago. But only one of the pair had the battery box. The other one didn't have a battery box. So should a pair have one battery box and one not with the battery box? Have I got two battery halves of two different pairs here? So what's going on there? Again, we don't really know. So if you can tell us anything about these strange 706 conversions please let us know it's over to you thanks for watching and remember if you want to see any more telephone videos subscribe to this channel thanks